Hello viewer, welcome to Multimedia Plus Online Television and welcome to this opening broadcast. Top stories in this edition, third Major Alfred Paolo Conte has for the second time been denied bail and sent back to the Freetown Mail Correctional Center. People complained over fuel shortage amidst a price reduction. Goma Valley Water Company speaks on the water situation in Freetown and UBA donates to help in fight against coronavirus. All of these stories plus sports are all lined up in today's news broadcast with me, Lucy Emanet Aliyo. And now for the news and details. Prior to the three days lockdown in the county, the Goma Valley Water Company will continue its water rationing schedule to three areas on eight hours of supply. For more on this, my colleague Fasmata Mohamed Bangrua reports. Water crisis in Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown, has been a major concern for so many people over the years, as citizens struggle to access water for some time now. They, however, express concerns of what will be their plight during this period that government has instituted a three days lockdown in Sierra Leone to prevent any further spread of the coronavirus that has ravaged lives in many parts of the world. Multimedia Plus Online TV crew spoke to a resident within Freetown. They had this to say. We will get tank, but for let you get, because water is not they do for we. People them go cool. People them go cool. Water not they do for we. Some man na na tell all by the pockets. We they suffer for water. That pump water we can get so na inside one ten for the week. Now we they get pump water. That then I'm by love. Oh one water for use for cool. Pass you go down right. Guys, come back and now well water. For when you go there back, for let you get back. You don't get money now. Now money back. And that money back, you the whole and so for let you get that water, they back in a problem. Me what they talk to, I get five feet in them. I get young, me and young come, guys, and what they talk to. When they talk to slowly, I mean, eight, nine in the morning, I mean, they come six o'clock, I wait for now go get water. I did they yesterday, say, five o'clock. The citizens went on to state that consideration must be given to some of them that are in difficult areas and find it extremely difficult to access water as they have to go at a distance to fetch water. So like a winner when I come away, you go, you don't go big, you pump in there. If you meet up, so you have to pass it, you go tell you, okay, you can't get too over. You go. If you know me talk to your person, you go tell you say passing yeah, yeah, don't for forget. Hours, you for you over done, the next person back come. So you don't see do you are who the big papa government yeah. making help food for this yeah. right now yeah. 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 they suffer, they suffer, they really suffer. And they they say how much of club before they see what die picking them. They are not for this so. Ali Kaba is the communication manager of the Guma Valley Water Company. He said that. Guma has placed three action plans in place to efficiently supply water across the city of Freetown to salvage the water crisis. Um, we don't um, put three action plans in place. Um, basically, all this well with the ration water to Freetown, so we have to continue with our um, um, schedule, the ration schedule. We are with the supply water to the three as them on an eight hour basis every day, area west, area east, and area central. Every day we try and ensure we supply um, eight hours of supply water supply to the areas and they every day, and also we get we community services who can talk water to community tanks then across the city. We get about five hundred and forty of them tanks then day um, during this period. We ensure say we try to fill up the tanks a day, and ensure say people that will not get access to pipe on water, they will access water to the tanks then day. We mostly we may assign three bowsers to the that service day, but we try for get one or two more for um, up the the efficiency and so we will supply more tanks. And also we the try previously we do one shift during this period we try for do two shifts. We one shift we one from nine o'clock in the morning to five o'clock, and that shift take off from five o'clock to two o'clock or one o'clock. Mr. Kaba further said that they are hoping that government will come up with resolutions 
to stop the rampant deforestation that tend to affect the water catchment areas. For Multimedia Plus Online TV News, I am Fatma Mohamed Bangura reporting. In another news, the United Bank of Africa, Sierra Leone, has on Tuesday 1st, April 2020, donated the sum of 1 billion 440 million Leons to the government and the people of Sierra Leone in the fight against coronavirus. My colleague Patrick Kiatokonte has more on the donation. In a bid to mitigate the spread of coronavirus in the country, the United Bank of Africa in Sierra Leone has donated 1 billion 440 million Leons to the government and the people of Sierra Leone. Chinedu Obita, the general manager and the chief executive officer of the United Bank of Africa in Sierra Leone, said that the donation is to support the government in purchasing essential materials to help fight the coronavirus in the country. Mr. Obita continued that, as an institution, they have adhered to all precautionary measures given by health experts, adding that they are concerned about the health of their staffs and customers. He further went on to say that, as an institution, they believe and trust that the government will use the money judiciously. He noted that, with their various digital systems they have at UBA, there are products that people can use to access banking services at home without coming to the bank, which he said aims at limiting social gatherings. He, my advice, we all in it together, uh, this is the one community, but the advice is just for them to continuously sensitize the public on measures to take to avoid getting you know, uh, infected with this virus. He noted that with their various digital systems they have at UBA, there are products that people can use to access banking services at home without coming to the bank which he said aims at limiting social gatherings. Reporting for Multimedia Plus Online TV, I am Patrick Yata Conte. Citizens in Freetown and many parts of the country have raised concerns with regards the spike in food prices and traffic congestion a few days to the lockdown amidst other things. My colleagues sought the views of citizens on some of these issues and sent in this report. Following the outbreak of the coronavirus in Sierra Leone, a three days nationwide lockdown has been announced, which has been described as a containment measure against the spread of the virus. Tensions are, however, high in many parts of the country, especially in the capital, Freetown. Citizens share their views with regards to three days lockdown instituted by the government to prevent any further spread. In a family man, I know she says not go start no day, and this sickness is down to greet. And as a young man, I know says I'm going to prevent myself and one. I told they will bring to government any kind of for logistic, any two, three things you need. The government one for me. Go call it, we get the upper hand for go look, we go to the issue right now. For the solar pool, the cut and the pots we had. For the solar man, somebody can buy a many bag of rice. Somebody can buy me bag of this. I will not get a hand in. That we don't panic. We don't fear. The government right now, we don't get something to get. So I make with the big government. Any two more government for we do government. We are still today. What are we not going to get? That's what we pull them. So if the government say, for let we lock down for three days, it's fine for me and you. Because they prevent we from booking. So and this sickness will come bad pass Ebola. Ebola, Ebola better, but this sick way affect any of the family in a problem. So we glad you for the lockdown and it's fine for me and you. So it will affect me because the business go close for the three days. But it not go affect me too much. Because the money it can one, but your life it pass the money. Then we are reward. So a lot of people should do so get some guys. When they say not do this, they will not do it. Three days they sell man for this, and all man this. That three days they long stay, but any kind of effort done. No worry, you will go and see. The God make the sick yeah, me you know even for struggling. It's a difficult thing. I know more because. So my says, sit on the house, you need to sit on the house. So you go and you you can go to the house. So when I say that it is local, the normal design goes, who may affect you? But any kind of a problem, I know, we just get for me. Citizens went on to state that since the three days lockdown was announced, there has been a rapid spike in food prices and that this has affected them a whole lot. When I say business person, you tell me the 
But from where they announce say we don't get two cases, then where the president say we for lockdown for three days, mm -hmm. everything, every price change. Till where they sell four thousand, now you go ask for another seven thousand. Even the sugar home they buy, they sell at two five. Now they don't add the price now. Now they sell at three thousand because if we not sell, as we sell for money now come on. So where this uh, corona virus don't come at this, uh, this country now, things are very difficult for. And we will not get to the suffer more when I pass to sell before we eat. We know how we suffer. So I'm going to get money for when they announce this they are saying three days lockdown. People and they, they buy. But we will not get to food and sell. We will not sell. So now we will sell. Now we will buy. So I'm going to tell you if it's energy storage. Let me say that's the signal client. But at times, the market is not going to be able to buy. At times, if you go buy this, we will buy this. 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 But for now, as you say, I don't care to speak. Although yes, yeah, some things are very really dear, but the big abas in this in this media not to be surprised. This will be about two twenty two thirty, but not two ten. Chief Iya Almami Fofana, the chair lady at Congo Market and the local chief within the community, stated that it's not their fault that there is a spike in food prices. We're not against them as a business house. What they sell for them is not good to them for buying three cup, four cup, six cup, we're not against. Now most people learn that they buy the half bag, yes, some man they buy half bag, yeah, but they don't come in for the thing and they. So if you want to sell that by cup, we're not against selling. Then where will we go buy yes for? That guess from we buy 300. Because of this crisis, we they buy now 320,000. Amidst all of this, the traffic congestion before the three days lockdown was another challenge, especially within the capital of Freetown. Drivers and passengers intimated that this came out a period when a press release was issued out stating that there was a reduction in fuel prices. You know, it's really easy because from God money man, they can now. Don't blind, don't long tell, don't tell, don't see my bullet or transport up to now. If the guy buy them back where they can, they get it instead. And they say they go eat, then they pack it on yourself. We don't say it's not about 10 or 11 years. This one, I'm not saying fall down, but this particular one is not fall down. We don't care for car load, we go down here and align. But like down here now, mostly now the people that wouldn't get load, then decide for take. So Mr. Come on, I can't join this line. This guy don't can now one lady not map that line. He said they go load and people are saying that he pack the most kind of good load. And I say they don't begin load people. Load. You know, so anyone now, they wouldn't say one and one one front and, and the law will dictate the, the paper. So any motor worker will make sure say a law according to. Will I get for tape? Will I be take five if they take four? Will I be take four they take three? So now, now the worker will hold the paper right now. Or, not to put the, the vehicle man in traffic. If you go this way, roll on the right now, pass and go by pass by Kai Church. They will not go. I plan to make more in the they go. Because they traffic, they go with them. They pack the line for, for three, one hour, two hour. I plan to make the person right and in the street. Sierra Leone's Medical and Dental Association has however called for an extension of the lockdown, stating that just three days is not enough to detect a coronavirus infected person. Reporting for Multimedia Plus Online TV, I am Lucy Imanet. The government of Sierra Leone, through the National Petroleum Regulatory Agency, the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Ministry of Transport and Aviation and other partners, has announced a fuel price reduction from 8,500 leons to 7,000 leons. But some people have complained that there has been a fuel shortage ever since the reduction was announced and that transportation and selling prices have increased, have remained the same if not increased. For some filling station there, a okay. lovely filling station there. They say fair money. Yes, a lovely filling station there. They say fair money. So I hope you will be able to fill go go 7,000. Straight, we'll straight. And now we see some filling station in our upbound. It's on the road open. But starting from this central part, they go go lovely. Filling station in the road open. Still, we'll straight for the fair. Pass by job, pass by job. Eh, oh, by job. We go by 10,000 for this hour. And now 10,000, they'll be back before come out. We're happy, we're happy. But like, some people, some drivers, then they were not happy because of these two passengers, two passengers, because we, we, we count. But like, we, 
for you side, you know, one of them. All the normal would be like that there. The problem the Odin gets according to the prices the Odin put. Nine are the problem for the riders here. Because some drivers here, then they talk for the 1,200 euros. Then they talk for the coin. And coin they know the. Then the keke normally now, instead of three passengers, now the two passengers. Now they back the club room for the 1,500 euros. But I tell them, let them already be here. Let them be here. Only two government one for the moment for. And due to the sick, now we accept that. Day. You know, a former defense minister in Sierra Leone's past administration, retired Major Alfred Palo Conte, has for the second time been denied bail and sent back to the Freetown O'Meal Correctional Center. For more on this, let's join our course reporter, Fasmata Binta Jalo. The state prosecuting lawyer, Adrian Fisher, led evidence to the first prosecution witness, Detective Sergeant Alajibrai Magahima, and his testimony said, he is a police officer attached at the Presidential Protection Unit State House, and that some of his duties include to protect the President and his family. He said on 19th March 2020, it was on duty when the first accused person, retired Major Alfred Paolo Conte, came trying to bypass the scanning machine at State House. And unfortunately, his colleague's security picked him up and drew the accused's attention to use the scanner which he did by turning that his brown bag had identified a pistol in the said bag. He said the accused then left the bag and the pistol at the gate and attended the meeting with the president. The witness, when asked by prosecuting lawyer Adrian Fisher what happened, after the first accused person has went to attend the meeting with the president, replied that after the meeting they asked the accused to make a statement in respect of the said items, and which he did. The witness said he made a statement to the Criminal Investigation Department in respect of the matter. Cross-examination by the lead defense lawyer, Ade Macaulay. The witness said he has served the police force for over 19 years and that on date in question, the first accused person bypassed the scanning machine and entered into State House. He said there is no public notice at State House notifying public not to enter with a weapon, but it is a regulation. The witness said indeed there is CCTV camera at State House and that for security reasons, he cannot say anything about the camera. At this juncture, the prosecutor objected to defense lawyer line of course examination on security reason. The legal argument arose between the prosecuting and defense lawyers. However, Magistrate Anna Boni then adjourned the matter for ruling on 9th April 2020. Reporting for Multimedia Plus Online TV. I am Fatma Tabin Tajalo. If you're just tuning in, this news is coming to you from Multimedia Plus Online Television. We will now go for a short break. Stay tuned. Yeah, production. Multimedia Plus, number one, number one of the country. Multimedia Plus, beyond creativity, that now we mission. Multimedia Plus, we they bring to you so much quality. Multimedia Plus Number one, number one, number one Yeah, hey, yeah Quality video we there yeah. Photo shoot voice over we there yeah. Simple and soundtrack we there yeah. Documents keep yeah, podcast we there yeah. Market and sales Audio production sell we there yeah. Don't forget to Tap a kind of multimedia Leash Welcome to the land of creativity Yeah Are the bongo bluff with me beauty if you see me photo, see quality. If you see me video, see quality. If you listen me music, see quality. You go feel say na magic. Number two come with this the place. After that bit it's a custom at the way. Quality video we there. Photo shoot voice over we there. Simple and soundtrack we there. Documents keep podcast we there. Market and sales. Audio production sell we there. Don't forget to Don't forget to Multimedia Plus Now go make them know say Now we get the ginger Now go make them see say Now we get the juice so They are go sing make everybody know Quality music see me studio Go this a play up yes let them know Let them know yes let them know 
I no go left, see don't good thing they pass me multimedia plus don't come for help we So mama, papa, auntie, uncle, multi Koto shoot me na lini malo hoi, ay yele Mungu na dimi he, number two, kambul skits Kena me, kena me, kena me, kena me, kena me, kena me Okay, okay, listen up, I know you don't struggle for long What is this saga, they hear ma? Multimedia plus, in other place where we belong See the come come fena, na de vi rai sen record this vi song where they run What is this saga, dem fela, see the pan eba road BWD, back and boost it A number here in Gamandrela 076 688-817 A number here in Gamandrela Multimedia Plus Number one, number one in the country Multimedia Plus Beyond creativity that now we mission Multimedia Plus Number one, number one, number one Quality video we dare Welcome back. And now in sports. In today's sports and news, the Sweden Football Association has donated the sum of 656 million news to all football clubs in the county. For more on this, let's now join our sports correspondent, Patrick Yatokonte. The Sierra Leone Football Association, SLAFA, has on Friday, 3rd April 2020, donated the sum of 656 million units to all football clubs in the country. Ibrahim Kamara is the head of media and marketing at the Sierra Leone Football Association. He said that the donation was made because majority of these club owners are finding it difficult to support their players ever since all football activities in the country were put on hold due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, by, actually, by we actually mean the Sierra Leone Football Association, uh, we've donated the sum of 656 million leons um, to all clubs in the country, uh, be it premier clubs, uh, um, division one clubs and division two clubs as well. I mean, you know, in this present situation, I mean, uh, in this global pandemic of COVID-19, obviously, we all know how difficult it will be for the different clubs to be able to take care of themselves, you know, in terms of, um, you know, administrative costs and things like that, or to even pay their players. Because uh, most of these clubs, if not all, their primary source of income is basically when the game is playing. Mr. Kamara further that over 200 football clubs in the country are going to benefit from the donation. Adding that, 406 million units will be given to the 14 Premier League clubs whilst the 250 million units will be given to Division 1 and Division 2 football. Uh, we're talking about um, over 200 football clubs wow. put together. Yes, um, actually to be specific, we, we donated uh, the sum of 406 million to the Premier League clubs. Okay. And we have 14 Premier League clubs. So the 250 million Leons is going to the other clubs, in other words, Division 1 and Division 2 clubs. You understand? And that money, like I said, we're going to pass it through the regional football associations. Because don't he went on to state that there will be proper monitoring systems in place to ensure that the money is used for its intended purpose. Adding that, the clubs are going to determine how they are going to pay their players. He, however, noted that the players and officials are the intended beneficiaries of the donation. Reporting for Multimedia Plus Online TV Sport News, I am Patrick Yata Conte. Well, thank you very much, Patrick, for that spotting update. Well, viewers, that's all we have time for in today's news broadcast on Multimedia Plus Online TV. But before we close, here's a recap of the headlines. Third Major Alfred Palo Conte has for the second time been denied bail and sent back to the Freetown Mill Correctional Center. People complained over fuel shortage amidst a price reduction. Goma Valley Water Company speaks on the water situation in Freetown. And UBA donates to help in fight against coronavirus. And that's how we draw down the curtains for today's broadcast. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for many updates, news broadcasts, programs and interviews. 
We're also on Facebook at Mosey Media Plus. Please visit, like and share our page. Until we meet again next time, I have been your presenter, Lucy Imanet Alio. Stay blessed and stay safe.